You know, I can do a good impression of Adnan Sami. Oh, Madhu. Oh, Madhu. Na mana so na de kaadu. Hello. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is not a very regular video. I wanted to show y'all my curl routine because I got a lot of requests, but I didn't just want to do it because I don't really have a routine. I haven't been doing it for four or five months because I wanted to prevent product damage, but now I'm going to a wedding, so I have to do it. Uh, but I just didn't want to do the thing. I wanted to teach you something. This is my before hair. I'm going to go take a shower and start teaching you about deseparate and decorticate rigidity. It's an important and nice topic which I never understood. So the basics that you need to know are that you have cortex, then you have brainstem, and then you have your spinal cord where you have all your low motor neurons originating. And I hope you guys already know stretch reflex. So stretch reflex is when this is a muscle fiber and it has muscle spindles within it. Gamma motor neurons innervate the muscle spindles. They cause contraction of the ends of the muscle spindles that causes a stretch in the muscle spindle. And when there's a stretch in the muscle spindle, it sends a response to the spinal cord and the spinal cord activates alpha motor neuron to the same entire muscle causing the muscle contraction. And this is the stretch reflex. stretch reflex is important is because the overactivity of this stretch reflex is what is causing the posturing and why is this posturing important at the end of the day it's only because in a comatose patient they can either be in a decerebrate or a decorticate posturing and depending on which position they're in you can localize where the lesion is is it above the midbrain or below the midbrain how exactly are we doing that actually the function of the cortex is to either inhibit or enhance the functions of the systems that are below it like the brain stem the spinal cord etc in the midbrain you have something known as red nucleus now this red nucleus is responsible for activation or the enhancement of the stretch reflex of the flexors of the arms of the hands only the upper limbs this is because the rubrospinal tract is only up until the thoracic spine so that is why the only thing that are affected by the rubrospinal tract end up being the upper limbs. Honestly, I don't get too much of hair fall when I do this because I've already combed it once before taking a bath. So there's less chikku now. I don't know what you call chikku in other languages, but in Telugu it's called chikku. Tangles. Yeah, tangles. This is the hair fall that's there, which is not much. Now we learned about the rubrospinal tract, we've talked about the red nucleus, right? Red nucleus is connected with the spinal cord using the rubrospinal tract. It's only up until the thorax, so only upper limb flexors are affected, which means activation of the red nucleus causes flexing of the upper arms, complete pronation, like your hands, everything go inside. Second thing, reticulospinal tract and vestibulospinal tract. These also originate from the brainstem only. Now these reticulospinal tract and vestibulospinal tract, they cause the enhancement of the extensor muscles throughout the body. So your upper limbs, lower limbs, when vestibular spinal tract or reticular spinal tract are activated in the pons and the medulla, it causes extension throughout the body because they are re reinforcing the extensor muscles of the body. I use only the cream. Um, I think the gel is a bit much. A little bit of the cream because then it becomes crunchy. I don't like that. So I've taken this cream, my hair is already wet. So yeah, red nucleus we've talked about, vestibular spinal tract and reticular spinal tract we've talked about. Now let us talk about the cerebral cortex, how is it influencing it? So for the red nucleus, cerebral cortex inhibits it. So when it inhibits the red nucleus, it is causing inhibition of the flexion of the arms. But the cerebral cortex increases the effect of the vestibular spinal tract and reticular spinal tract which means presence of the cerebral cortex increases the extension in the upper and lower limbs. It feels really weird doing this. I actually been a bunch of months since I've done my, you know, hair care routine properly. 
बिकॉज आई फील लाइक इट मेक्स माई हेयर सो क्रम्बल्ड एंड अनैचुरल एंड आई डोंट यू इज यूजली प्रेफर दैट ऑन अ डेली बेसिस बट वैन आई एम गोइंग फॉर एन एक्सटेंडेड वेडिंग आई वुड नीड माई हेयर टू बी अ लिटल यू नो इन इट्स प्लेस ब्रो हेयर फॉल इज तो देर भाई Now let's come to the main part. Let us say there is a lesion in the cerebral cortex above the red nucleus. Okay, this is above the midbrain. So now what hap- what's happening is that the connection between cortex and the midbrain is lost, and you knew that cortex was inhibiting the red nucleus. So now there is loss of inhibition of red nucleus. When there is loss of inhibition of red nucleus. there is increased activity of red nucleus there is increased activity carried through the rubro spinal tract there is increased flexion of the arms upper arms at the same time the cortex influence on the extensor muscles is also gone cortex just reinforces the vestibular spinal and the reticular spinal tract so it was anyways causing extension so it will remain in extension so there is increased flexion of upper limbs but your lower limbs are extended and rotated inwards this one is called decorticate posturing because cortex ka influence gaya i tried finger curling once when i was in france and it worked out really well with my like paris photo shoot and everything see look i love it let's say that there is a lesion below the midbrain now since there is a lesion below the midbrain the effects of the red nucleus are not there only rubro spinal tract chali nahi raha red nucleus is not able to pass on anything to the spinal cord so your flexion of the arm and everything is gone but your vestibular spinal tract and reticular spinal tract are still acting that means it causes complete extension of your whole body your upper limbs your lower limbs uh, and this one is called decerebrate posturing a good way to remember this is se- decerebrate has like 3 4 e's in it right and e for extension so it causes complete extension of the entire body and decorticate is the other one which causes upper limb flexion uh, the the best way to read this is whatever i've told you till now just go across it in this diagram in ganong ganong has a beautiful diagram that describes this watch a ninja nerd video and there's this other physiology teacher also on youtube who explains this like really really well so yeah you can watch her as well i think i can link both of these in my description but this video was mostly just to talk to you guys and show you my curl routine um i'm going to like i'm not a person who dries it although i do have that diffuser thing i don't know how why i invested on in that but i feel like it makes my hair really dry so i don't use it i will mostly just let it air dry the biggest issue is the fibers at the back okay? we're not talking about the tracts here i'm talking about the hair at the back things to keep in mind i only comb my hair two times one is before hair wash and after hair wash i oil my hair one night before my hair wash wash only my scalp with shampoo and only conditioner for the rest of the hair i do two washes mostly of shampoo should be good enough and start painting after a while i feel like this is best bicep workout best i'm telling you the chalo ki chalo to chalo ki tha my friend is sleeping in my room i have to be a little quiet rangula ratnam laga narut piche save jado andala iska tamla pippa ve hai darwadu i want you guys to actually type down all the topics that you really want me to teach and if there is any difficulty understanding this please let me know in the comments i can clarify it even better maybe hopefully so i scrunched it all up a little bit with the same microfiber towel and i just have to make sure i maintain this so i have that thingy that you put on your top my little bonnet i stopped using that also bhai matlab anyways uh this is how it looks and i know it's going to look floof when it dries up but uh, it's okay i'm going to carry my curls and i'm going to come back with a fun new concept in my next video bye bye